We're all born nudist. We don't come out in a three-piece suit. And what kid didn't like running around without his clothes on when he had a chance? I remember zipping out of the door and running around naked out in my backyard, much to my mother's chagrin. I mean, my, my kids like to do it. Most of the kids I knew seemed like they liked to do it. It seems like it's later on in life that we get out there and, uh, and society and family, you know, imbues us with that guilt that it's either shameful or just wrong. Well, depending how you grew up, you may have a huge barrier about whether or not you could be a nudist. You know, humans are the only animal that hides itself from its companions when it's not covered. Hmm. First and foremost, you've got to be comfortable with your own body. Nudity is not as much a state of dress as it is a state of mind. It's no small feat of self-confidence to shuck away those textiles that, that color and shape and accent and, and mask uh, basically who we are. When you're a nudist, you're basically bearing all to the world around you. First, you need to realize that your body's not perfect. Of course, neither is anyone else, so take comfort in that. All bodies are beautiful to the extent that they house a beautiful person. The universal truth is that we all have something about our bodies we hate or want to improve. And in my experience, nudists are some of the most accepting people that you will ever run across. I have seen amputees and scars and thin and less thin uh, and people are pretty much generally accepted by other nudists. I have never seen a more supportive group of people. It's about the person, not the shell. Okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Nudity is not necessarily sexual. And absolutely, people have sex naked. But for the most part, it's, it's not about that. Revealing clothing is often way more sexual than nudity because it, it draws attention to certain areas and accents. And in fact, a lot of nudist venues will not allow like lingerie and other uh, sexually suggestive clothing. And if you're afraid that becoming a naturist is gonna open you up to all sorts of unwanted sexual advances, you know, it might, but so might a trip to the mall. For the most part, naturists are modest people who, who are just out there enjoying the experience, like, like today, enjoying the sun and the breeze. Now onto a delicate subject, and I'm not talking about all nudists, talking about just myself, but do I enjoy seeing naked people? Well, yes I do. I think I was programmed from a, basically back from the caveman days uh, to appreciate a, a beautiful woman or a naked woman. But with that said, don't go to a venue and gawk. Don't stare. Close that mouth. Look people in the eye when you talk. Oh my gosh. Be adults, people. Just enjoy the experience and don't try to pick up a mate, you Neanderthal. That's probably the quickest way to be considered a creeper and not be really accepted in any group that you might find. And while some nudists may be swingers, don't take that as a generalization that that's a, across the board. Most are not. And a lot of guys ask and that are worried about what happens if I have an erection? Ah. Mm -hmm. For me, it's not really an issue. I guess it's because of that performance anxiety out in public, I guess. Never had really an issue like that. Um, but if, if you do, just cover it with a towel. You know, you're always gonna have a towel with you. Uh, just, just use that. And if it happens a lot, maybe you need to bring a second towel so you're, so you're covered regardless. I knew of one guy that had to go out and basically dig a trench in the sand and lay down there so that, uh, you know, until it went away. You know, an understanding, women know that happened, but nonetheless, don't, don't show that thing out there. Nobody wants to see that. Just keep it covered till it, till it kind of settles down. And remember to respect other people's boundaries when you're practicing your nudism. I mean, when you're in your house, keep your blinds and your curtains closed. You know, don't go sunbathing out back nude unless you've got some sort of privacy. Not everybody wants to see that. And with that said, nudity is not something to be ashamed of, but be aware that when you tell your, your friends, your trusted people, they, they may not be really good with it. So, you know, kind of kind of measure that before you, before you come out, if you will. And here is probably the number one item to be a good nudist. And that, that's like in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, always have your towel. Don't ever set your nasty ass or your delicate derriere or anything in between on anything that's not your towel. There's some exceptions. I mean, sometimes you'll see people sitting around the edge of swimming pools or hot tubs dangling their feet in the water without a towel. But for most part, that's not a rule. It's not a hard and fast rule. You need to look around and kind of gauge your surroundings and see kind of how other people are handling it. 
uh, but having a good towel is always the right idea. Also, you can sit like bare bottomed if you're on like just this the grass or the ground. But who wants all that, that little tickly grass and bugs crawling on your nether regions? Huh? I don't think so. And while some venues actually supply towels for you, it's probably always good to have one of your own. You know, so make sure you bring your towel. Now, there's different sizes. I prefer this little microfiber towel because it's actually a pretty good size. It folds up very nicely and it's soft. So, you know, there's always, always goodness to be, be found like that. Once you go through the process of rediscovering what it's like to run around nude, then uh, you'll have a little more, more sensitivity and, and, and politeness to others that are going through that same type life journey. And if you have a partner and this is something new to you, talk to them about it. Make sure you, you express what you want, what you're looking for, and, and be an adult. Talk about it. And if they're not comfortable with what, you know, with what you're wanting to do, then maybe you need to find out whether it's okay if you do that by yourself. Again, be an adult, have a conversation. So how do you find out, you know, what you need to do to become a nudist? Where can I go? How do I go about it? You know, I need, I need a support group, things like that. Well, there's, there's a lot of places on the internet. Uh, two I would recommend right off the bat are AANR, which is the American Association of Nude Recreation, and TNS, which is the Naturist, or, uh, yeah, the Naturist Society. Uh, so you can go in there and, and share views with other like-minded people, uh, join forums, things like that. But be cautious because, again, it is the internet and there's a lot of misinformation out there, even on good sites. So you know, take things with a grain of salt and uh, you know, maybe compare some, some different thoughts. So you need to ask yourself, is this something you really want to do? And if so, you just got to overcome those societal, let's call them norms, I guess. And, uh, and see if this is going to be something that's a right fit for you. And don't worry, take your time. It's not a race. You can go to clothing optional places and maybe try it or not. Uh, but be, be aware, a lot of the places will not allow you to be non-nude around swimming pools or hot tubs. So, so there is that. But you know, once you get used to being nude again, it's like being a kid and you can enjoy the sun and the breeze and not having to wear a nasty cold wet swimsuit when you get out of the pool. So hopefully this helps. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below. I'd love to hear them. And until next time, don't forget the sunscreen.